Hey guys, so um, I made a comment and posted a picture. Oh, put your head back down. Um, this morning about our new sleeping setup and how it's been great. Um, the first night and my well, it'd been even better if I wasn't coughing and waking her up. But um, we have a new sleep setup, and after I posted the picture of my co-sleeper and our new setup. I had a lot of you email me and one person comment on my Facebook asking how I did that and uh, asking me if I could show you guys um, what I did and how I did it. So I first off want to say, sorry I look like poo. Secondly, I want to say, don't do this at home. <laughs> um, this isn't by any means the way that the manufacturer would say that you should do this. And I don't want to be held liable for anybody who has accidents. I don't encourage you to do this. This is just how we did it. Um, but, yeah. Um, as you know, if you're familiar with co-sleepers, we have... Hold on, I'm going to turn you around. <clears throat> we have an arm's reach co-sleeper. And as you guys know, if you've seen my previous videos of our bedroom setup, um, we have that there with her changing stuff. And um, that's one of our dressers with her changing pad on top and this is my sorry oh, trying to do camera work and holding a baby um this was my side table or end table as you can see my husband has his over here with my breast pump on it and my <laughs> milky smoke saver he's so nice um but my nightstand used to be next to my side of the bed and then the co-sleeper right there I'm pointing to it with one of my fingers um used to be further down uh like right here. Um, also, it was lower. I'm gonna set her down so I can show you guys better. Say hi, Kaya. Hey. We just got done at the doctor. We had an issue, and I will tell you guys all about it on Friday for her two month um, update. But, anyways, so this was at the head of my bed up there, and then this was like further down here in my original setup. And I hated it, hated it, hated it. Because if you have an arm's reach co-sleeper, you know that unless you have the, like, extenders that are, like, $20 per kit, um, it's really low to the ground. So, as you can see, what we did to help fix that was my husband measured it and then searched everywhere around the house to figure out how, what we had that we could lift it with instead of buying the extenders. We, he has these, which are his, actually, his storage boxes. They're plastic um, from downstairs in his computer area. And so he put those under all four legs. They have a lip on the lid, so there's no way that this can slide off, as you can see. Um, so that was one of the reasons he chose those. Like I said, I'm not encouraging you guys to do this. <laughs> um, this is the band that goes under the bed mattress and onto the other side, which keeps it flush against the bed. Um, so that's how we raised that part. And then underneath this mattress, because there's this like a thing right here that pops up the wall, it's like this, but it goes down. Um, like I said, if you have a co-sleeper, you know that it actually goes further down than this. Like you see this little ridge. It actually goes further down than this, so the mattress sits still lower. And it drove me insane because I didn't feel like I was next to my baby. And she didn't feel like she was next to me, so we'd end up bringing her to bed, and it was really frustrating. Um, especially her being lower even without those like it was basically like she was in her own crib so it made no sense as to why I even had a co-sleeper so um, what I did to remedy that was I brought the mattress up by folding up I won't show you um, I can't really show you because I don't want to mess it up because it took forever to do it I folded up a big comforter and put it underneath it and then put this and I shoved the mattress back down on it to make it flush and I actually raise the head of the mattress a little bit since she is having some issues um with her acid reflux which again i'll go over on friday um and yeah this blue sheet is actually a queen size sheet because there is a little gap right here it's not big but it is a little even though I, she can't roll yet and even if she could she wouldn't be able to get past this little ridge i just feel safer this way this queen size sheet actually goes all the way under onto that side underneath, tucked underneath the R mattress, so that way it's weighted down on each side. Um, each night we tighten it to make sure it's really tight so that way um, she can't fall underneath here. Uh, but like I said, she can't get past this ridge anyways. And when she can start rolling, I'll just take the comforter out from underneath here and lower the mattress part. 
But what's nice about it being raised off the bed like this and the mattress being raised is she feels like she's actually still next to me, but I don't have to have her in my bed. So I have my bed back, which is really nice because I was really not sleeping well. Um, sorry. I wasn't sleeping well worrying about her, um, me rolling on her with my son. I never had those fears because I wasn't as sleep deprived, but being that I can't nap during the day, I'm very sleep deprived. So... Um, I do have that issue also with my son. My husband slept downstairs for the first six months. This time he's sleeping in our bed. So there's two of us in there. So I really like this setup because not only does she still feel like she's next to us and she literally is next to me, but she has her own space. Um, because of this ridge though, this small ridge, I can't nurse her while she's in here, but that's not an issue for me. I can still nurse her in bed and then I lift her slightly and scooch her over here and she doesn't even budge. Um, it's, it's really, really nice. I'm very, very happy with this setup. She's happy with it. If I wouldn't have been up coughing all night, she would have stayed asleep, but she loves this. So, uh, yeah, that's how we did it. We just raised it off the floor with four Rubbermaid, uh, boxes or totes or whatever you want to call them with, and we, um, shoved a comforter underneath the mattress. So, yeah. But like I said, we make sure to check to make sure everything is flush and tight before we go to bed at night. She's not rolling or anywhere near rolling. Even if she was, that ridge would stop her. Um, and when she does start rolling, I'll just lower that. But, yeah, I don't encourage people to do this because I don't want to get in trouble. But that's how we did it to answer your questions. Um, sorry, this was kind of a scattered video. Um, I just got some bad news at the doctor's office. Um, well, not bad news, but I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys about it on Friday. But, anyways, um, say goodbye. Bye. Oh.